welcome to our fifth installment of our series on the Songs of Degrees. Today we're going to get into Psalm 121, and the title for this section will be Helpful Memories. Now when I speak of memories, I'm not talking about having nice thoughts about the past. I'm speaking about something that when brought to your remembrance is helpful and changes your attitude. I'll give you a brief analogy here to explain. You know, I work in construction. It's my occupation. Now, if I go to work and I make a bad mistake, I could cost the company uh, quite a bit of money. Now, if I were to make that mistake on my own, um, while working for myself, that mistake may bankrupt me and may cause a great amount of concern. If I make that concern at that I make that mistake at work, uh, I have something, I have a, a memory, a helpful memory. And this would be that, that the company that I work for has a lot more money than I have, that they have a lot more space for mistakes like that, and they plan them into their budget, and that they're making enough money off of what we're doing, that making mistakes every now and then is not the end of the world. That's a helpful remembrance that's going to change my attitude and give me more freedom as I work. So today we're going to look at Psalm 121, verse 1 and 2. I will lift my eyes unto the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I love that statement. Take note, we're still in the singular, the personal, the individual here. It says, I will lift my up my eyes to the hills a willful choice to look to the lord for help this is something that we all need to do as believers we need to willfully choose to look to the lord for help i will lift my eyes up to the hills from whence comes my help he recognizes his help doesn't come from somewhere else this is something that we mentioned in the first song of degrees in psalm 120 but something that we begin to learn, as we live the Christian life, is that often throughout life we need to constantly be reminded of these same lessons. We're going to be learning lessons over and over that we could have learned the first time, but we're often a stubborn people, we're often a forgetful people, and often a lot of our life is consumed with learning lessons over that we should have learned already. And one of these lessons that we need to learn over and over is that we are not self-sufficient. We never were self-sufficient, and we never will be self-sufficient. And it so works against our culture and our desire to fix all of our own problems and to be, to be strong and independent. But you know, somebody once said, spiritual maturity is not marked up by independence. Spiritual maturity is marked up by dependence, dependence on God, recognizing our need. And that's definitely something, a lesson that we need to relearn over and over. We are forgetful people. Now, the other thing I want to look at is the, not just the lessons learned, but the memories, the good memories that we should have. The one he mentions here is that the Lord made heaven and earth. Now, that makes a big difference. If your help is coming from your friend down the street, or if your help is coming from the medical system, or if your help is coming from the government, or if your help is coming from the one who made heaven and earth. You know, if your help is coming from the one who made heaven and earth, that might change your attitude about a lot of things. It might give you a lot of peace and a lot of tranquility when the world around you is going crazy with fear, with concern, there's no need to be concerned. The Lord is in control. We cannot fix our own problems. So then, um, we continually need to be reminded that God is bigger than all of our problems, that he's the creator of heaven and earth. And I think as a bit of an aside, perhaps this is why Jesus told us to remember him with the bread and with the cup as often as we meet, he says. You know, a lot of times we like to spread it out farther and farther. 
longer and longer gaps between when we actually remember him as he asked us to. But I think this is part of that reason. We're forgetful people. We're stubborn people. And in that sense, we need to lift our eyes up and remember where our help comes from. That our help comes from a God who demonstrated his love and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. A God who desires what is good for us who is not against us, but is for us. And that our help comes from the Lord, Jesus, who died on the cross to save us from our sins. We need to remember who God is. It's a great source of comfort for me, the character of God, his consistency, his patience, his faithfulness, as I observe it through the Lord Jesus' life. And meditate on his character. It's of a great comfort and encouragement to me that when I fail, inevitably, or when I mess up, that he is still going to be patient with me, that he's going to be faithful with me as he's been faithful with everyone else that we read of in the scriptures, as he was patient with those he dealt with on earth. He dealt with them seriously with their sin, but he also was patient with them, and he wanted them to grow and to continue to walk with him. You know, it's amazing as we sit, as we comprehend, as we meditate on who the Lord Jesus is and what he did for us. To think of Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9, that says, God's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and his ways are higher than our ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are God's thoughts higher than our thoughts, and his ways are higher than our ways. And if we would remember that, and we would lift up our eyes, to see things as God sees them, or at least to see the one who is in control of them. We can live our lives with that peace that Jesus spoke about. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives, not temporary, not dependent on circumstances, not dependent on performance. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. God bless you.